Hi, I'm Ben Ciccarelli with IWS Sales, and today I'm going to be sharing with you our all new 2021 Renegade Vienna VRML Murphy Lounge Motorhome. Man, the Murphy Lounge Motorhome, the Renegade Vienna, uh, what a motorhome. We're so excited to share it with you. This is a brand new offering for us here at IWS. A lot of you have seen we've been selling the big guys such as the Veronas, the Valencias, and of course the Classics and the XLs and the show holders. You know, today we're going to be sharing with you the VRML uh, floor plan, but you can check out our other video to check out the Vienna full wall slide model, and you can see some of the features and options in that floor plan. You know, just give you a little background of what this motorhome was really designed for. It was designed for those of you that maybe want to travel with just you and your significant other, maybe a maybe your couple children or a couple grandchildren, but really just. A lot of you might just know it, it's probably just going to be you and your partner, really a good couple's coach and uh, the occasional child or grandchild that comes with you. This is really designed for you to be able to just take the motorhome itself and not be able to not have to tow another vehicle. Um, you know, it's got a 3,500 pound towing capacity, so you can tow a small, real small trailer or even a small, uh, small vehicle if you really wanted to. You know, all of our customers that have bought a Sprinter van from us in the past, either as a used or um, the new ones now, they've all said that they've really appreciated the drivability and the mobility you get out of a little motorhome like this. So just another great offering that we're going to have and uh, we're going to get really involved in the Sprinter lifestyle. So with that, the first thing we want to talk about is the chassis because this Mercedes-Benz chassis is really the the class leader in this in the van and sprinter series so there's a lot of competitors out there you see ford dodge nissan chevy they all make a van of some sort but here at iws and at renegade we really believe that mercedes is the front runner and the reason i say the front runner is because they've really um, found their niche and with the powertrain that mercedes offers you know this is a three liter v6 turbo diesel engine. It's got 188 horsepower, 325 uh, foot-pounds of torque. And this has been an engine and power plant that's just worked. Um, for 2021, this is now a seven-speed transmission. Um, and you'll see here, this is the 3500 uh, chassis. So this is a bigger chassis than what you probably see even going down the road or um, what other people use. This is the, a bigger, bigger chassis. Um, so it can handle more weight. You know, this thing has a thousand pound cargo carrying capacity. As I mentioned before, a 3,500 pound towing rating. If you go to Mercedes website, you'll see that this is rated for 5,000 pounds, the chassis is, but since we got a motorhome on top of it, uh, we had Renegade has derated the axle to 3,500 pounds just to make sure that you don't overload the rear axle with tongue weight. I wanna talk now a lot about the features of this motorhome and what Mercedes has brought to the table for 2021. The first thing is um, auto beam headlights. So these headlights are very stylish now, um, a lot sleeker looking, but with the auto beam system, um, if you're going down a really windy road and it's night and you have your high beams on, as another car passes by, these the high beams will actually shut off. So you don't have to uh, physically shut them off, which is nice because, you know, it's just a little nice feature, but it can be kind of tiring at times if you're traveling at night. Now I mentioned the powertrain, but there's a tons and tons of active safety systems that come on the Viennas now, and then there's Mercedes chassis. So the first thing is collision mitigation system. And you hear that a lot uh, for, in our other videos, but from Mercedes, the collision mitigation system includes adaptive brake assist, where if a car slows down in front of you or uh, maybe gets on their brakes while you're traveling down the road, this will actively brake for you to at least give you a head start on your braking capability. It also has adaptive cruise control, or as Mercedes calls it, Distronic uh, cruise control. And that works like a lot of adaptive cruise controls in your uh, typical cars do. If you're in cruise control and going down the road, this motorhome uh, will constantly measure the car in front of you and slow it down if the car in front of you slows down as well. In the, in the windshield here, you'll see where those collision mitigation features actually start at. There's a camera and some radar systems there, and that's what's actually monitoring the vehicles in front of you. 
This also has lane keep assist too. So uh, we'll show a lot of this more in the chassis section, but as you're going down the road, if you tend to drift to the left or the right, um, this motorhome will actually not only audibly warn you, but it'll actually put on the brakes and actually steer you over and keep you in your lane. Um, and it also has you know, traffic sign assist, so it'll tell you what traffic signs are coming up at night. This thing's even smart enough to know that if, if it feels you kind of drifting off, it'll, it'll say, hey, you might need to slow down a little bit, or maybe you should stop and get a coffee or take a break. Uh, so lots of safety features. And when I'm traveling with my family, having all those safety features built into the chassis just really puts my mind at ease. So when you're buying your next B Plus Sprinter Series motorhome, be sure that you look to see if they've got the active uh, collision mitigation systems from Mercedes, because you don't want to miss out on that. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood here so you can see inside the engine compartment so you can see how easy it is for someone to service this or service it yourself. All right, so looking inside the engine compartment, it's, it's really quite easy to access. Um, you know, you can check everything that you want, such as your, um, your, your oil, you know, brake fluid, you have uh, windshield washer fluid here as well, coolant, and then of course this is a uh, diesel engine, so we also have diesel exhaust fluid, so DEF, and you would fill that right here. Uh, but with Mercedes uh, being in this business so long, they know what they're doing, they're really the class leaders in this segment, they know how to put the engine compartment together, and uh, uh, premier service centers at, at Mercedes-Benz. The last thing to talk about, and it's a minor feature, but something that's really cool is the wiper blade system. Uh, Mercedes has actually integrated the water jets into the wiper blades here, and I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. Now that we've talked about the chassis and some of the features of the Mercedes-Benz, I'm going to go ahead and show you a lot about the driver's side here and some of the cool features about it. So moving right along here, we have aluminum wheels on the Mercedes chassis and on this Vienna, uh, which might seem like a small deal, but aluminum wheels are just a big upgrade over a traditional steel wheel that some competitors offer. The mirrors. Mirrors are really important when driving your big motorhome. You know, this is a little fella, but you still are pretty wide. This is uh, eight feet wide. So having a nice long mirror is nice. It's really easy to see out of. It also has powered mirror and it has a side bullet camera as we like to call them. And this camera actually sh comes up in the, on your big screen in the center and it'll show your blind spot when you're uh, turning your left turn signal or your right turn signal on. Great safety feature. Uh, the door. Uh, Mercedes has done a great job of making this really big grab handle. They've also got a nice step to get into the motorhome. Really easy. And it's also got a nice two-step system, so it's really easy for me to get in and out. They also have a, this is where you would fill your diesel fuel right here. And this works as a locking fuel cap, essentially. So as I close the door, you'll be able to notice that I can't open the gas cap here, so you got you can protect yourself from theft of fuel or anything like that. Now that we talked about that, I just want to show the sidewall here to talk about Renegade's construction. You know, this is our our seamless uh, aluminum tube cross members, and it's also got a vacuum bonded fiberglass sheet here. And this is the same type of construction you see like in a Renegade XL. Um, that's where you get this seamless look down the side and you get this beautiful paint here. This is real paint. This is not some decals like a lot of competitors use. This is gonna last you for a long time. Um, and then while we're talking about paint, this is probably a good time to talk about the different color options that Renegade offers on the Viennas. So this paint job right here is called Summer Sand. Uh, it's a really nice paint job. The other paints that you can get, as we're gonna show you here, is um, Blue Skies, Lava Field, Gold Coast, Summer Sand like this one is, and also Mojave Sunset, as uh, we've seen shown in our other video that you can watch on the full wall slide model. Just really nice paint. The last thing I'll talk about here is the slide mechanism here. 
And the slide you can actually run on your iPad that we give you through our IWS Advantage package, or you can run it on your cell phone. Renegade is on the forefront of technology. They have a, a Firefly multiplex system where you can run this entire motorhome off of an iPad or a phone. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab an iPad that we use for this Renegade motorhome and show you what you can run the slide in and out um, with your iPad. So we're gonna do that now. So the really big advantage of sliding your slides out outside of the motorhome and being able to watch it is being able to know if you're gonna run into an obstacle such as a wall or a tree. I know when I go camping, sometimes where I camp in, in real um, um, urban areas, you know, this is, you don't always know what's outside the slide. So if I'm parked next to a tree, I can get outside my motorhome, run the slide out and know if I'm gonna hit it or not. I don't have to stand inside the motorhome and have somebody yell at me to stop. Just a little feature that might not make a difference to you, but I'm telling you for people that actually camp and, and have used these things, this makes a huge difference to, to us. And just take a minute here to show you why the slide is out. This is a big, huge slide on the Murphy wall, or Murphy lounge. It's, it's quite large. It almost goes clear to the back of the motorhome. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slide this thing back in. And I can watch things go in as I need to. I can also run this from inside the motorhome if I wanted to do that as well. All right. Now that we have the slide in, I really wanna now talk about leveling jacks and uh, stabilizer jacks. And first, before we bring them down, it's really important to know that you're informed that you know, most competitors in this B plus segment, they don't have leveling jacks. They have what we call stabilizer jacks, where all they do is set the jacks down and all it does is actually just stabilize the motorhome so it doesn't wiggle around on you, which is great. However, you know, you know, if you're anything like me, we go in, in pretty different you know, locations and the ground's not always level where I go. I'm not always parking in a you know, perfectly paved parking lot. So being able to actually level the motorhome and do it automatically really just make, elevates your camping experience and really just brings a luxury to your life. So on the iPad that we give you, or you can run it off of your own phone, you can actually run these stabilizer jacks down um, automatically. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that. We're gonna have Zach actually show you the jacks coming down. So I'm gonna hit, all I do is hit auto level and you'll hear a few beeps going on, but the jacks actually come down themselves and they're gonna level the motorhome automatically. And this takes only about a minute, honestly, to do. This is the first thing you do when you get set up for camp. These are hydraulic posts. They're hydraulic feet up and down. So um, that's important to know because some are spring up and down or uh, spring up. So they have springs that bring them up. And that's really a disadvantage for like, if you get stuck in mud, they're uh, kind of a pain to bring up. Whereas these are hydraulically powered up and down. So now that all of our feet are down, the coach will actually start to level side to side and front to back. And since we're on pretty level ground, that's all it took to level it right there. And now after we're done in level, all I hit is all retract. And then they go right back up again. And as these are going up, I can continue on with my life and putting camp away. Um, so I can hit the road and get to my next destination and get on the road. All right, now that we've showed you the importance of uh, running your slides out with your iPad and running your jacks down, let's go ahead and take a look at these storage compartments and see what the heck's going on here. Storage compartments, you'll notice that they're, these are all chrome right here, really nice look, and they all are lockable with a key, and it's just got a big handle. It's easy to grab, too. These are the same handles we put on a lot of our larger motorhomes, too. Now, this is where your battery compartment would be and where your inverter is stored and a lot of the electrical things. So right here is our two Group 27 AGM maintenance-free batteries. So you don't need to keep on top of these with water or any of that mess. Right here is where our 1200 watt inverter is. And it is also where uh, our solar controller. It's good to mention that Renegade puts a 175 watt solar panel 
on these motorhomes as a standard feature. Really great thing from Renegade there. This next compartment is actually just storage right here. So this is a great spot for you to put your rubber gloves, your, you know, your stinky slinky that we talk about, your um, rubber gloves, water hoses, all that good stuff would go right here. Again, aluminum wheels here. Right here is where you would dump, where you would actually stick your hose to dump your waste, your black and gray tank. And here is where you would store a hose, you know, a sewage hose. It's important to talk about that this is a 30 amp service motorhome. So this motorhome runs off of a 30 amp service. And that's where that would go. Opening this compartment is where I like to say where the magic happens. So this is where you would actually pull your black tank and your gray tank. All really nice handles to grab onto. Uh, Renegade, you know, this is a minor thing that not a lot of think people think about is, but Renegade actually plasma cuts these out so that you can read these over the test of time. They're not cheesy decals that'll fall off uh, over the lifespan of the motorhome, you know, as these things get used and used. There's also a water spigot here that you can use to, um, you know, spray a kid off, spray your boots off, or spray a dog or something like that. It's also got a pressurized sprayer. It's got a, a cable hookup if you had a cable TV at an RV park or something like that. It's got one single fill point for filling up water or running off of city water. And we also have a black tank flush right here. And it's also got a propane fill. When uh, I think now is a good time to really talk about the storage capacity of the holding tanks. This has a 30 gallon black tank, a 30 gallon gray tank and a 34 gallon um, fresh water tank. And that's underneath the bed that we'll show you. It also has a 13 gallon propane tank. So those are all really good capacities for uh, staying for a few nights um, with you and your significant other in these little fellas. So Renegade's done a great job there. Also, this has a 26 gallon fuel tank, diesel fuel tank, and a five gallon def tank, as I know some of you are gonna be asking that. All right, now that we've talked about all that, let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna flip this motorhome around so you can see the back of the motorhome and we'll show the passenger side. All right, now that we got this thing flipped around, I wanna take a minute to talk about the aerodynamic cap here. So as I mentioned before, this floor plan is the 25 VRML, which stands for Murphy Lounge. Um, and when you get the VRML, it comes with an aerodynamic cap. So you get a nice, aero cap here at the top of the motorhome. You can also option this and it shows as the 25 VRMC, which stands for cab over bunk. And this floor plan would actually come with a cab over bunk over the top of it, which would give you some extra storage and also sleeping capabilities up top. Moving around to the other side here, you know, we still have our side bullet cameras here. Just want to show you again on the passenger side, it's just as easy for the passenger to get in and out of this thing. You know, it's got two steps, really easy to get in and out of. Renegade's door system, they have a keyless entry right here. So you don't have to carry your keys with you. You can leave your keys inside the vehicle when you go camping. Just a little nice feature to have. It's got a big window. It also has a pretty big door. So. The steps automatically come in and out. I could also tell them to stay open if I wanted to. Nice grab handle. It's lighted too. Easy to get in and out of. We have an outside entertainment center here as I open it up. Nice size TV. It also has, you know, a Furion audio system. So it's got DVD. You can also listen to Bluetooth or listen to the radio right here, plug in a USB phone, something like that. And as Chuck's mentioned in a lot of our other videos is that you know my family and I, we've been really getting to love this feature of an outside TV. You know, with, As we're shooting this, this is during the COVID-19 pandemic and being able to social distance to have our friends come around and sit around the motorhome at six feet distance is really nice. And just sitting around the campfire, quite honestly, and watching television or listening to your favorite tunes is a, is a good thing. A little bit of Waylon Jennings by the campfire is nice. All right. Right here is our propane quick connect. So 
if I just open up this little guy here, you'll see that there's a quick connect hose here where you can plug in a hose to run like a propane grill or even a little propane, uh, you know, campground fire that they, people sell. Moving on here, I'm gonna show you this storage compartment and it's pretty large. Um, right here we have our IWS Renegade Vienna package, our starter package that you can buy from us, um, where we'll hook you up with all the uh, starter things such as, you know, a water hose, you know, um, flashlights, toilet paper, uh, adapters, everything that you would need to get started. And this is a really nice place for all that. This compartment also goes back here quite a ways too. Um, so this is a good spot for all those things that we can give you here at IWS. This is the Truma AquaGo system. And you may have seen this talked about in some of our other videos. And I talked about it in our last Vienna video. This is yeah, a huge upgrade and it's, it's something that sets the Vienna um, from other competitors that don't have it. <clears throat> for those of you that don't know um, about water heaters, uh, most RVs come with what a we call a traditional water heater, so a, like a six gallon or a 10 gallon water heater. And typically on these sides, they're about six gallons. And if any of you taken a shower with one of those, it's a pretty quick shower, <laughs> you know. Um, and with the Truma AquaGo system, this is a on-demand instant propane heater. So as long as you have propane and as long as you have water, you can take as long of a shower as you want and also as hot of a shower as you want. Um, just a really luxurious system. And Truma is the brand and AquaGo is the model. This is the uh, premier setup for on-demand hot water in a propane unit. Moving right along, here is the propane furnace. And this is an 18,000 BTU propane furnace. We have a 13.5 air conditioner on top as well as we'll mention more inside. Here's where your Dometic refrigerator system is. This is your 110 outlet here. So if you had like a little electric grill or if you needed to run anything off of a, a 110 cord, you could power it right here off the motor home. Right here, we have our Cummins quiet diesel, 3200 watt diesel generator. And at IWS, we option all of our Renegade Viennas with this generator. Um, you'll see in a lot of our other videos that have the uh, bigger generators, they're all Cummins brand and they all are quiet diesels. Um, we've had great luck with these. This is about a $5,000 option. This is not the standard option from uh, Renegade. These come standard with a propane generator, but for five, about $5,000, you can upgrade to a, a diesel generator and we wouldn't have it any other way with these. Uh, this actually fills off of your own uh, diesel tank here. So there's only one fuel point, which is really nice. You don't have to manage two tanks. And this is an extremely quiet generator and really robust and reliable. Last compartment here is just a little compartment. Um, you know, it might be a good spot for some gloves or, you know, maybe some flashlights or some 110 adapters or just any uh, little thing that you could think of. Now I'm going to show you the back of the motorhome here and I'm going to flip around. We'll talk about the, the back here. This is a, a fiberglass cap on the back, which is really nice. It's nice and flush. You get the beautiful Vienna logo here. Up top, we have LED brake lights and we have a uh, backup camera that gives you a nice viewing range behind you. We also have easy to replace brake lights here that you can find at most NAPA or O'Reilly Auto Parts stores. Here is our trailer hitch setup, and I just want to talk about this one more time. This has a 3,500 pound towing capacity. The chassis is normally rated for 5,000 pounds, so you'll see that publicly posted, but the Viennas are rated for 3,500 pounds because of the weight of the motorhome. There's a certain amount of weight that's sitting on the rear axle and they've rated this for a 350 pound tongue weight. So that means they have to rate it for 3,500 pounds. So that way you don't overload the rear axle. So again, this was really never designed for you to have to tow another vehicle because it's so short. It's only 25 feet long. You know, it's, it's eight feet wide and it's, it's only 11 feet tall. So this is a really maneuverable little guy and you can 
drive it through Walmart parking lots easily. You could park it in parking spots. Um, you know, our Vienna customers park right in the front of our building in a parking spot between the lines, really nice. Uh, so not having to tow a uh, vehicle, but being able to tow like a small trailer or something is, is a nice thing right here. It's also got a uh, electric uh, trailer connector right here for you too. So now that we showed you all that, I really wanna take a moment to actually just show you the awning. Um, you know, we don't have much wind today, so we're gonna show the awning coming out. Again, the awning is something you can run with your iPad that we give you or your, on your cell phone. All right, now that we have the awning out, this is a perfect time just to show you some size-wise. I mean, the first thing you'll notice is that there's no ugly post sitting on the side of the motorhome for the awning. It all comes out of the top, and it's a really nice and wide awning. I mean, you know, this, is, this comes out about six or seven feet, um, so you get some nice shade, and it's really quite long, too. It's about 18 feet long, so you, um, you get lots and lots of coverage clear up, and it goes past the door, too, which is nice. Um, it also has an LED light rail right here, as long, and we also have a porch light behind it too. So tons of lighting, um, and honestly, the LED lighting at night is uh, really just nice for ambiance sitting by the campfire. So I'll go ahead and pull this thing back in. This awning is made by Gerard. It also has a motion sensor, so if the wind kicks up too bad, um, it'll come inside for you. All right, now that we've talked about everything on the exterior, I'm gonna go ahead and walk inside and show you all the nice setup features inside the motor coach. First thing we're gonna do is show you everything with the slides in so we can get a good idea of what that's like. So let's go ahead and hop on in. All right, here's our first step inside the Renegade Vienna 25 VRML. Here's all the slides in, and you can see I got a decent amount of room here, and I can still be able to walk, and I can still access my kitchen area, and I can still sit down at the dinette, eat my sandwich, no problem. And now as we walk back, I'll go ahead and show you what it takes to get to the fridge and the back bathroom here. So we're gonna go ahead and flip around here. So as I walk by, you know, this is a little bit tighter than uh, maybe our 25 FWS model. The nice thing is I can still get through. Um, I can still step through right here and I can still access my bathroom. No problem. It's just a little bit tighter is all. I can still access some of the things that I'm looking for, such as my pantry. I can still get there if I need to. The fridge is obviously a little tight, and but I can still access my freezer if I need to. With that, now we're gonna go ahead and slide the slide out and show you all the great features of this floor plan. So now that we have the slide out, we're gonna have Zach do a pan around here so you can see the openness of this floor plan. You know, at first look, you're going to see that this coach was really built to have a lot of counter space, lots of pantry space, and also built for you to entertain a little bit. This has some more seating area. You know, this has the Murphy bed combo in the back, and we've also optioned this with the dinette table here. You could also option this for like theater seating with a removable table in the front, as we'll show you um, later on. The other thing to point out about this motorhome is we did this in our honey maple color. So you can get your cabinets and your wood in either honey maple, cashmere, or also burnished sable. And this is our matte finish, or as we like to call our 60 sheen finish. You could also upgrade to a higher gloss finish for about $1,500. Um, it gives a higher gloss look to the cabinetry. 
This seems to really work. This is our honey maple cabinetry with our uh, vanilla frost decor package. Yeah, it just really came out really nice in this motorhome. This is a customer sold unit and they uh, allowed us to uh, take a video of this for you all to be able to see all the features of the Renegade Vienna. I'm going to go ahead and start on this side of the motorhome and being able to show you the, the really nice countertop setup. So the first thing you'll notice is the big sink. So this is a really nice sink. All I can have to do is move this out and I get a really nice deep sink and it's got a large surface area. I also have a movable faucet and I have a retractable spray head here with me as well. This is really lightweight and easy to store and easy to carry around. I want to talk about the television right above it. This comes with a JBL sound bar. This runs the TV. It also allows you to be able to connect to this via Bluetooth and run your phone systems off of it. A lot of you are probably wondering about the TV. It's really easy. All you do is pull this out and it swings around and comes out any way I want it to see and I can articulate it as I want. I'm going to go ahead and just pop it open here so uh, Zach can get a good shot of it here. Um, it connects with this magnet right here. It also has an extra HDMI spot here for you to be able to run you know, something like um, an Apple TV or an Amazon Fire Stick. And when we're talking about streaming, um, this is also powered with a WineGuard Connect 2.0 on the top of it. So you're able to run uh, internet on top of this motor coach. So if you want Wi-Fi when you're dry camping, you can uh, pay Verizon or AT&T to give you hotspot service on your motorhome. It also works as a Wi-Fi extender if you want to use somebody else's Wi-Fi and boost that throughout the motorhome. So if you want to watch Netflix or something, the Vienna is the right coach for you. It also has a powered TV antenna so you can watch local television as well. I'm going to go ahead and shut this here. Moving on, I'll just show you the cabinetry underneath. This motorhome was designed for you to have tons of kitchen space in a short model. So here you'll see that we have a trash can area. You could also option to take it out and you know put in a little vacuum cleaner or something like that. This is a good spot for some extra pots and pans, and it's pretty deep. You know, it's it's a little over a foot and a half deep, and uh, it's got two areas out as well. The window. We have a really nice big kitchen window, and we also have two window vents here, so I can easily just pop these open and get some fresh air. I also have a nightshade here so I can get some privacy. Also helps cool down the motorhome too. This is a little pop-up 110 outlet here and it just comes right on up. And that gives me a little extra storage for uh, if I need more counter space, but gives me outlets to run a coffee pot or I can run a couple phones off of this too and be able to charge it. So really innovative idea here from Renegade. I set that down. Moving to talk about the Dometic cooktop. I have a two burner propane cooktop. You could also option to have this with the induction two burner cooktop. Um, for the Viennas, we like to option them with the propane setup, just because that way you don't have to run your generator to run the cooktop when you're dry camping. Also, you'll see in here that we have a LED light, courtesy light here, really adds some ambiance and just adds another level of elegance to this motorhome. You also have two drawers here, and you're gonna see here that we have Renegade's infamous dovetail construction. You know, a lot of people don't have these in, my, in their own homes. I sure don't. Uh, this is just high quality stuff from Renegade. All real wood, Amish crafts people make these. Soft closed drawers, and then we have uh, extra storage area here too for other things, soft closed drawer there as well. We have our furnace vents under here. So as I mentioned before, you got an 18,000 BTU furnace here. Um, really keeps this little area nice and warm and toasty for you during winter travel. Right above you here, you also have large storage areas with a really nice curved uh, cabinetry. Be able to store, you know, chips or something like up here. You also have LED lights below you. 
And it's important to talk about what Renegade does. Most competitors, when you open these, they fall or sag down. These go ahead and stay right up for you. They have a nice tension spring on them. Talking about these cabinets, one thing that um, many of our customers are excited about is that these are really easy to clean. It's a nice, smooth furnishing, so it's really easy to wipe off as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Zach flip around with me and we're gonna show you the multiplex system. As I talk about this, I'll just preface really quick that we have the generator and the air conditioner running just because it's a hot day and we also wanted to demonstrate how quiet these diesel generators are and how quiet the air conditioner is too. As we move over here, you're gonna see our multiplex system from Renegade. And as I was talking about with technology, this was the multiplex panel. So you can run your entire motorhome off of this pad, or you can run it off of your phone or iPad that we give you. Or there's uh, several other panels throughout the motorhome to be able to do a lot of features as well. But here we are at the home screen where you can turn on and off all of your lights. So this is a master switch to be able to turn them all on easily. It's also a monitor for our fresh tanks, our gray tank, our black tank, and our propane tank. It's where I can turn the water pump on and off, and also where our tank heaters are. Good time for me to talk about tank heaters, as I forgot to mention it earlier. Uh, the gray and black tanks have uh, 12 volt heating strips on them, so that way if you're traveling through the winter, um, or in cold weather climates I should say, you have heated strips to be able to combat the weather. This is where you can like measure your house batteries and your chassis batteries, start your generator, and where you can manage your AGS system, which I'll talk about here soon. Also a quick way to control your thermostats. As I move here, you'll be able to see your light controls. I can control all the lights in the motorhome, inside and out. This is our auto gen start setting, and auto gen start, or AGS as we like to call it. It is a system that automatically starts your generator for you. So the advantage of this is, let's say you're out camping and you wanna leave the motorhome for a while. Um, if you aren't gonna come back for six or seven hours and you wanna keep uh, the dogs in here or something like that, and if it's a hot day, the generator will kick on at a certain temperature that you tell it to and the air conditioner will come on. Or if let's say that you wanted to leave the motorhome for a week uh, at your favorite campground spot before you go up um, and camp for the weekend, you can have this generator kick on when the batteries get to a certain voltage. So if the batteries get too low, the generator will kick on and charge your batteries for you. So your batteries should never die on this thing. Uh, we also have climate control system here, and we have, as I mentioned, a 13.5 BTU air conditioner on top. Um, it also is integrated with heat pumps, and you can control all that easily by the touch of a button. We also have uh, two max air vents here that are easily controllable right here. This is where you can control your awning and your, um, your slide out systems here. And then this is where you can adjust some of your settings and connect to like the mobile app. So this is our uh, Dometic refrigerator. This is a propane, this is a dual fuel refrigerator. So it's either fired by propane or through electricity. Um, so when you're going down the road, this will use propane to help keep it cool, keep your drinks cool. And if you're plugged into shore power or running your uh, generator, um, it'll use electricity. Also has a nice size freezer here. We have a convection microwave here where you can have a little small pizza. It's a pretty nice size here for you to be able to warm things up. Now, not only do you get a big counter space in this motorhome, you also get tons of storage. Uh, for a pantry that is. So I just simply unlock it and pull it out here. And you can look at all this storage here. Uh, these, are, these are really wide. These are about a foot deep. And I can stack things easily and get around it and be able to organize my food or any of my other personal belongings really easily. It has a locking mechanism on it too, which is really nice. We also have a big storage compartment down here. Um, and it goes all the way back, so you can you know, store some um, cooking tr pots and pans right back there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and step inside the bathroom area, and this is also where your wardrobe is. We have a nice full length mirror here. So as I step in, you can see that I have uh, you know, a nice amount of leg room when I sit down at the uh, 
the toilet here. You know, I'm just under six foot tall, so I'm not the biggest guy in the world by any means, but I still have a decent amount of room here to be able to sit and uh, read the sports page. So um, we also have a nice little sink here so I can wash my hands easily. Um, I also have a, you know, a little uh, towel rack here. I have a 110 outlet here to charge my electric toothbrush or um, a phone or something like that or an Apple watch. Um, I also have a little medicine cabinet here too. So be able to take all my medicines is really nice uh, when I'm camping. And I have a little bit of, or there's a little bit of space here as well. And this is where your toilet paper holder would go. Pretty innovative here to give you extra leg room. Here's our shower and this is a pretty nice big shower for you know a 25 foot unit. Uh, when you pair this with our Truma AquaGo propane heater, again I, as long as I have propane and have water on board I can take as hot a shower as I'm looking for. So this is your nice wardrobe area and it's got a nice long closet here for you to be able to hang a bunch of clothes. Okay, okay. now that we got out of the bathroom area um, I just want to take a moment to talk about the interior height of this motorhome. So overall, on the outside, we're 11 feet tall, but on the inside, this is a six foot seven interior height. Um, we've even had a customer who's six foot five that bought this same exact floor plan um, and being able to fit. So you got tons of headroom. So even if you're a big person, uh, you don't have to be afraid about buying a little motorhome. Showing you the this side of the motorhome. We do have a 110 USB outlet to be able to charge a phone when you're sitting here at the, the Murphy bed setup. This is your little couch area and this is a great place for entertaining. And I can sit down here and I also get a little kick rest here for me to be able to sit at the table. Nice, comfortable setup for my guests. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how the Murphy bed actually comes down. It's pretty cool. So all I gotta do is take this guy out here set her down, take these out, jackknife sofa. So after I drop it down, I get a nice wide setup. This is actually a 65 inch wide bed and by 72. Now I know some of you are wondering, can I get the, a larger bed? You can get a bed extension from Renegade um, that has a cushion in there that can actually widen the bed out of about three or four inches to give you a little bit bigger bed. Um, I can still get around the bed if I need to. Um, and just to show you, it's really easy to get in and out of this thing, be able to lay in it. Again, I'm just under six foot tall and being able to have some nice width to it is nice. I also have a multiplex panel here so I can be able to turn on and off my reading lights, turn on my water pump. I can even turn on my generator right here from the bed if uh, it gets a little too hot in here while I'm dry camping. I also have some storage above my head here. Put a book or as we always like to say, your handgun. You also have a nice window behind you with an emergency egress. It's got a privacy shade. It's also got a vent on it too so you can get some cool air. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and flip up the bed. easy to do, just lock it in place. And just like that, I'm all done. And I got a seating area once again. All right, this is our dream dinette setup. So this works as a dinette system. So I can sit here. Um, two people can sit here really nice and comfortably. It also has two seat belts here. I've got a nice window to be able to look out here. Got lights above my head too, um, and a privacy shade. The nice thing about this system is that my leg is still clearly clear here. I don't have uh, something really interfering here with my leg room, which is nice. Now, you could also option this for theater seating, um, as you see here in our photo, in our video roll. And you can also option it to have a removable table that sits in front of you. That way uh, you can eat while you're sitting at the theater seating. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you how this actually turns into a bed. And it's a really cool little system. So all you do is pull these. All 
All you do to release the latch is pull it over and push it down. Little cushion here. It actually uses three little cushions here. And there you go. This is how you have a bed. So obviously this is meant for a little bit of a smaller person or uh, you know grandchildren. Again, I'm about six feet tall, just to give you some spatial recognition. I can get in the fetal position, curl up like so. Nice setup for if you wanna uh, carry some kids with you or grandchildren. Above your dinette, also nice to mention that you have really nice storage area right above your head and it just comes along here nicely. Again, nice stiff drawers so they stay up. Got a 110 USB outlet right here tied to your inverter to be able to charge something. Um, your cabinetry right here, this is what you get with the aerodynamic cap. You get a nice storage area right above your head. And it's all passed through here and it goes quite a ways in there. I'll let Zach kind of get a shot inside of it. So you can see this is a good spot for you to store your uh, window coverings that come with the chassis or maybe some long items, maybe a fishing pole, all good things to go right here. Also comes with a little light switch so you can turn the lights on and off. Close those here. Really now the last thing to talk about on this is the skylight right here, which is really nice. It also, you can open it up like that. It also has a power, power vent or power opening here, so you can get some nice fresh air here. Nice to just have a little skylight. And then at night, if you wanted to you know, have a total blackout shade, you sure got it right there. Two more things to talk about is the Max Air power vent. You got one of these in the living area, and you also have one in your bathroom. And as I mentioned before, these do have rain sensors on them. So um, as they're open, if uh, it gets a little rainy, these will automatically close for you. And if you open up a window and power one of these on, it's really a nice cool breeze in the mornings. It's just a nice feature. Uh, last thing to talk about with air conditioning is these are ducted vents. So I can evenly distribute air throughout the motor home. So I don't have to just come have it come directly out of the air conditioner if I don't want to. I get air conditioning all the way through here and into the bathroom. Okay, now that we've showed you everything of all the inside features of this uh, VRML Murphy Lounge motorhome, we're gonna go ahead and show you all the features of the Mercedes-Benz chassis. And you may notice that this is not this next portion of the video is not gonna be this exact motorhome, but it's the same exact features and everything that you're gonna get in a brand new Renegade Vienna. So let's take a look. All right, I'm gonna step inside here, which is really easy to do. Close my door. The Mercedes-Benz chassis comes with a key fob instead of a traditional key, so we have push to start. So all I gotta do is push my foot on the brake start it here, turn the volume down. And the first thing you'll notice when you start this is that it's a really quiet diesel. Um, you know, it's not in your face. It's not really loud at all. You know, the Mercedes-Benz chassis, they've done a really good job. You know, they have a leather wrapped steering wheel. All the hand controls are right here, easily accessible. And what's neat is actually they're all touch screen. So I'm able to change screens by actually just sliding my thumb, just like so. And I can actually control my main system here as well by just sliding my thumb. I can also scroll just like so. Um, but being able to have that while I'm driving is a really nice, comfortable, and safe feeling for me. The Mercedes-Benz chassis has a seven-speed transmission and I just think personally, this is cool being kind of a hot rodder myself, having some paddle shifters here at the, easily I can just shift these like so by pressing up on them. Being able to choose the gear that I wanna be is a nice feature. It also has a telescoping steering wheel and it can move up and down so I can really get comfortable. I have an easy 
um, control switch here for selecting my drive. Um, turn signals and wiper blades are all really easy to use. Power locks, power windows. And this is something that you don't see in many motorhomes, but you have a power seat. So you have power powered back and forth. I can also lean back quite a ways in this motorhome and it does it automatically. It also has heated seats and for passenger as well. Now I really want to focus our attention on the Mercedes-Benz MBUX system here. This is a 10.25 inch screen. It's really revolutionary, not only for the motorhome industry, but quite honestly in the, the car industry as well. You just don't see this type of technology. Um, we're seeing it more and more now, and Mercedes is really on the cutting edge of it. This is a really big screen for me to be able to easily see, but also easy to use. I can just simply scroll um, as I want to. Um, these are all voice activated controls, so I can tell the unit to call somebody for me or find uh, some place to eat. And it can even turn on my heated seats if I want to. But what I really want to focus on is all the cool safety features on this thing. So when I go to assistance here, you can change all of your settings. So this system has traffic sign assist. So as I'm going down the road and maybe I'm in an area that I'm not aware of, as a lot of you will be when you're motorhoming, this will tell you the speed limit in your area. It reads the traffic signs for you, even at night. It's pretty incredible. So it'll tell you the speed limit. Um, this is your active lane keeping assist. And the lane keeping assist allows you to um, not drift. If you drift over like a yellow or white line, the Mercedes will actually pull you back into the lane. Really nice. And it also warns you as well. Talking about active brake assist, um, this, if somebody's in front of you and they get on their brakes pretty hard, this will allow you to, uh, this Mercedes will actually brake itself for you. Attention assist. So um, this will tell you like, hey, if you're getting tired, it'll notice your driving habits. So if it's a little bit later and maybe you're, uh, you know, dozing off a little bit, it'll tell you to uh, maybe pull over or maybe get a cup of coffee or take a nap or something like that. So uh, the technology is just really amazing in this. As I mentioned before, um, this also has the uh, Distronic Adaptive Cruise Control um, and Collision Mitigation features too. Um, but you can just see all the, all the different features that you have. You can also set uh, the system up so that you can have different displays. You can also um, do things such as setting up Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on this. You can even set up different profiles for if you have different drivers and whatnot on this. Um, so if you and your significant other drive differently, you can have it all set up so that your seats are aligned right. The last safety feature, and it's a big one that we want to talk about with Mercedes, is the Mercedes Pro system. You can subscribe to Mercedes Pro, and it works just like you know maybe an OnStar would. Um, that you might be familiar with. Mercedes Pro, if you subscribe to it, if you get in a collision or some sort of accident, the windows will automatically roll down, it'll call 911 for you, and it'll even turn off the fuel pump, uh, which is just incredible technology that all this can happen. So you can rest assured that if you get in a crash in one of these and you have your loved ones with you, that you're gonna be safe and, and you can subscribe to Mercedes Pro and have some SOS features. Okay, now that we've talked about that, we're gonna talk a little bit about the storage area above here. So you have cup holders below you, but you also have cup holders up here, a little bit of storage area here as well for like sunglasses um, right there. You also have storage right here. And this is where you can plug your phones in, um, Apple or Android. Uh, and forgot to mention that this MBUX system also has Apple and Android autoplay um, for you. It also is Sirius XM uh, ready. You have cup holders on your side as well as the passenger side, and you do have a little bit of storage area behind you too to be able to carry lots and lots of things. And then moving on into the center console, um, being able to adjust the volume up and down is really easy. Everything's right here and easily you know, accessible for the driver to reach, which is really important, is that you can easily see and reach things as you need them. Well, that's gonna do it for us today. I hope you enjoyed this video on the 2021 Renegade Vienna 25 VRML Murphy Lounge Motorhome. 
Uh, had a lot of fun doing it for you. Again, you know, Renegade offers two different floor plans, the VRML and the FWS, and you can get those with an aero cap or an over the cap bunk. And that's why you see four different floor plans. There's really two distinct floor plans, but um, hope you enjoyed it. You know, we're doing these videos just to make sure that you're a fully informed buyer on these, uh, because with these motorhomes, they're anywhere from $130,000 to $155,000. So you're spending a lot of money on something like this, but I can tell you this, the Renegade Vienna is the clear front runner in the B plus motorhome series. You just won't have any regrets with, you know, Renegade's construction, their name, the uh, quality of craftsmanship and the uh, technology that Renegade offers and also the technology and safety benefits that Mercedes offers and the reliability of this chassis is just wins all the way around. Just want to take another moment for those of you that are new to our YouTube channel or new to our videos when you buy a Renegade Vienna or really any new motorhome from us you're gonna get something what we call our IWS Advantage package and the Advantage package includes an iPad as I've mentioned before and that you saw me using today that iPad will have all the applications on here to be able to run the motorhome. It also is gonna have all of our contact information, but specifically, we're gonna give you our personal cell phone numbers and a 24-7, uh, 365 service number you can call to be able to contact us. We're also gonna give you five years of free roadside assistance, um, you know, because if this thing breaks down, it's never gonna be near us and it's not gonna be in your hometown. So uh, having five years of free roadside assistance just gives me a lot of peace of mind and gives our customers that peace of mind as well. Uh, we're also going to give you priority service treatment at our location and we also have an exclusive rws rv park at our location so you can uh, stay with us for free uh, for a couple nights if you're traveling through and just wrapping up i just want to say thanks again and please like this video give us a comment we look at all those and subscribe to the youtube channel also check out our new instagram page for more content and check out our facebook pages as well so with all that being said, I hope to see you guys out on the road.